from the Strip Studios, this is 10 News. Hello, I'm Jim Patton with this 10 News update. A CHP officer hit and injured by a car while trying to stop traffic on the 94 and the driver took off from the scene. Officials say the officer was doing a stop traffic stop when a car behind him started crashing into the center divide. The officer was out of his car, tried to wave down the driver. Instead, that driver drove into the officer and then the patrol car and continued driving with the hood up covering the windshield. After a short chase, the driver stopped and was arrested on suspicion of DUI. Today, the family of Rebecca Zahal will once again talk about her death and announce a reward for information leading to an arrest. Zahal was found dead at the Spreckles Mansion in Coronado eight years ago. Sheriffs ruled her death a suicide. However, last year, a civil jury found her boyfriend's brother, Adam Shacknight, liable for her death. Family is now offering a reward for information and are releasing a new review of Adam Shacknight's polygraph test. Shacknight has maintained his innocence from the beginning. Happening today, the end of the annual backpack drive at Sharp Grossmont Hospital, which the nurses organize and the entire hospital supports. Backpacks go to children of families affected by HIV and AIDS. Hospital partners with Christie's Place, a nonprofit dedicated to helping those families. And today, nurses will load Sharp Hospital vans with hundreds of backpacks to be delivered to the families. Time now to get a check on the weather. Megan? Oh, it is going to be a hot day for the kids heading back to school today in Escondido or Grossmont Union or for the kids that have already started school this year so far. A lot of kids heading back this week. We are in a heat advisory for our inland neighborhoods until 9 p.m. tomorrow. Highs in the 90s and low 100s. The farther inland you go, areas like Ramon and Alpine, those are the areas that will near that 100 degree mark. An excessive heat warning in effect for the deserts for the same time period. Temperatures between about 112 and 116 during the day, only dropping into the 80s and 90s at night. So we're really not even going to get a whole lot of relief in the overnight hours in the deserts. Temperatures in the mid to upper 70s along our coastline, mid 90s for most of our inland neighborhoods, including Escondido, Poway and El Cajon, as well as in Santee, 90s in our mountains and again about 115 in the deserts. Jim. Megan, thank you. For the latest news, weather, and traffic, go to 10news.com or download our free 10 News app in your app store. For 10 News, I'm Jim Patton.